Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Nate and today I'm excited to kick off my first ever YouTube video. I'm hoping to do a series here where I'll be sharing my journey in building a custom G1000 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, kind of like the one you see behind me. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm a fixed wing pilot and a flight instructor and kind of a newbie flight sim enthusiast. And probably like you, I'm always looking for ways to make the sim experience as realistic as possible, but without breaking the bank. And that's what this project I'm starting is all about, creating a setup that feels like it's straight from the cockpit, but it's accessible to all of us sim enthusiasts. Now, a little while back, I came across a 3D printable file for an avionics panel for a G1000, this one you see right behind me. And I thought, hey, this could be really cool to try out. So I bought a cheap printer. <laughs> I went through, the, oh man, I went through the process of trying to get that thing to print. It took months for me to get that thing ironed out, all the variables and everything, get it print pretty reliably. And I was able to get this G1000 printed and then I was able to hand wire every single button and knob to an Arduino. So let me show you the result here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I was able to hand wire every single button and knob and everything to this Arduino right here. And you can see by this big mess of wire, <laughs> When I got really impatient, I was kind of reaching the, the finish line and uh, I was just so excited. I didn't want to spend more hours just cutting wire and making it look nice and neat. So I finally just gave up and said, screw it. I'm just going to finish this thing and get it working. I don't care what it looks like. But while it was a fun project, I just couldn't shake the feeling that this could be so much better. Like it could be more streamlined. It could be more professional. I mean, we could take all the wiring out of the equation and create a custom circuit board or something like that. I mean, you saw the wiring. It's 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 pretty bad. So as I was wiring everything, had a lot of time to think and I realized that like, hey, I can improve on this like quite a bit and I can make it quicker and easier to build. And I figure I might as well document the process in case anyone else out there is interested. So I thought, what if I design a custom PCB that took all the hassle out of the equation, something that kind of integrates the Arduino right into the board so there's no need for extra parts and all that wiring. So my goal here is to create a single, almost plug and play unit that's compact, intuitive, and just works, no extra fuss. And now I know there are some similar products on the market, but most of them that I've seen, they require users to like source all the parts, solder them on yourself, and something kind of similar, either wire it or solder your parts to a circuit board yourself. So I wanna remove all these extra steps so that users could just focus more on the flying and less on the setup and that's what's going to set this project apart. I'm giving myself a mission to design a G1000 that's going to integrate everything you need directly into it and it's going to be as efficient and user-friendly as possible. So what's the end goal? Well, I'm aiming to create a complete line of avionics hardware that anyone could build or buy for their flight sim setup and I want to make realistic, high quality avionics that's accessible to enthusiasts and pilots alike. Now there are commercial products out there. I know you can get a G1000 there. Most of them that I've seen are about a thousand dollars each. And I want two of these. I want a PFD, I want an MFD, 2000 bucks for that. That's just, that's out of the question. That's ridiculous to me. Now this is just the beginning. Over the next few months, I'll be sharing updates on my progress from prototyping to testing and refining this design. So if you're into flight sim or you just wanna see how something like this comes together, hit subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll dive even deeper into the development of my custom G1000 setup. Thanks for watching.